Pokemon? 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 Hi! What is what did you just send me from Neil Cicerica's channel, Karen? Oh god, that's an old one. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play that, but hello everybody it is it is time i am so happy to see you all here it is saturday april 24th 2021 um and i got my second shot today so in approximately two weeks i will uh have full 5g and that's pretty cool uh no Clearly I am joking about that, but this is such a goddamn relief. <laughs> such a goddamn relief. Oh my god. There is maybe an end in sight? Maybe? Maybe? I don't want to go back into the office, though. Don't make me. Anyway. <sighs> I am here for... Um, Actually, I have no idea what's going on with this shirt. So my, my friend Sarah gave me this shirt and I'm just like, I can't figure out what is going on with it. It's hollow, like a, it's like, but it's like a holographic rib cage print and I like it, but it's like, I probably should have washed it because she's got three cats or two cats, two cats and like two children. So whatever. Anyway, Pokemon, right? Uh, we got three generations left to finish up and i i am feeling first off i'm fidgety right now like i keep like switching back and forth between like the way i want to sit that's weird um my arm is just starting to get a little stiff uh it's not too bad so i mean it was stiff for about a day last time so while i am you know i guess it's what do they say make hay while the sun shines sun ain't shining and there's no hay but we could possibly have some Pokemon. So let me, let me uh, just bring this back up to where we were. So when we last left off, we were at Genesect. Yeah, there we go. Check that shit out. Let me get the cool music going again. I'm going to play the same one because this is like three out, two and a half hours long. <sighs> so now we start off with... The, uh, the boy, Chespin. And Chespin's okay. Um, this is the grass-type starter from the Kalos region. And I, I am super biased because I love Gen 6. Gen 6 hot take may be my favorite. Uh, and I know that that is kind of like a bold claim. A lot of people, uh, think that's a very, uh, hot take. Cursed child, children, and rats? Not today, unfortunately. Uh, we got, I mean, unless Pokemon are cursed. Pokemon can be cursed. Pokemon, you can catch here. Um, Chespin's alright. He's like a perfectly good, cute little... Pokemon, you can trade here. A uh, perfectly cute little grass-type starter. I, again, I never use grass-types to start for starter Pokemon. So... Eh, he's fine. Ugh, Quilladin. Quilladin is... Quilladin's weird, you guys. Like, I, I really... I'm trying to be nice about Quilladin, but Quilladin is, is a real unfortunate second stage evolution. Like, truly unfortunate second stage. Um... It's... It was, I just... I don't like it! I'm not, I'm not disagreeing with you, Lisette. I think, I think, oh, Glalie is a fucking cursed Pokemon. That is true. Hmm. Water is good. But, Chestnut, Chestnut. <laughs> okay, so you know what the first thing I think of when I see Chestnut is? It's, it's, nobody is going to have this exact thought. By the way, we got another clapper. Um, but anyway, the first thing I think of when I see Chestnut is, like, department store Santa. And that's not a bad thing. 
I just, I love him. Chestnut is big and beef and great. Um, yeah, he's, he's definitely like a big tanky starter, which is appreciated. Like, some starters get kind of delicate, and I don't necessarily inherently dislike delicate starters, but this thing, this thing stands up to what you think of when you want a fucking light, a starter Pokemon. Gen 3 starters are all, like, well, no, no, Karen, that's not true. Fucking, um, Mega Swampert is beef. Mega Swampert is 100% grade, USDA grade A beef. Um, that's true. I guess regular Swampert ain't that bad. But, like, this guy's, like, okay, when I think of starting Pokemon, they're supposed to be able to carry you through, right? Like... And, and then you get, like, I don't know. For alligator. But anyway. Fennekin! My dear, I love, I love Fennekin. Fennekin was my Gen 5, or Gen 6 starter. Uh, I just, I love Fennec Foxes. I think they're a good tribute to, uh the actual animal while also being fantastical enough to be fun. So Fennekin is a good, I love Fennekin. Um, I also, I really like Brakeson. I think Brakeson is a good second stage starter. Uh, and those are hard to come by. It, eat a little twig and get very excited. Um, like there's, there's just, there's something very fun about Brakeson that I like. I like the fact that she keeps the, like the stick in her tail. Um, I just, I like Brakeson a lot. It's fun. And then you get Delphox, who I love Delphox. Delphox is a little far on the like person side at times. Uh, but I just, I love how she's basically just like a, a fire witch. Like she's so cool. I just, I think, I, I love that, like, her her fur looks like robes. I just, I love Delphox. Delphox is an A-plus Pokemon. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Froakie. Froakie's okay. As we have discussed, I'm not a huge fan of frogs and, like, frog Pokemon. Uh, so Froakie is among that set that I just... It's fine, I guess. Um, okay. Yay. Um, so yeah, it's fine. It's, I like the kind of like the bubbles, like that feels very on brand. Uh, and I feel like they were, they were definitely trying to stick to a more like natural yeah, definitely one of the cuter frog Pokemon, but not one of my favorites. Um, then again, I really don't have favorites unless it's Poliwag, which Poliwag is just like top tier. Frogadier is pretty cool, I guess. Like, and it's it's too cool. I don't like Pokemon that look like they would ignore me in high school. Like, that's the problem. Like, Frogadier looks like just like the cool kids. And I am just like some dweeb watching anime. Um, <laughs> it's true. Yeah, he's got like the the little like the floof and then like the the fancy scarf. Like he looks like he looks like he did a semester abroad and therefore thinks he's the coolest. He knows like five words in French and that's why everybody loves him. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay. And then <sighs> No, I don't, I don't like Greninja. Like, Greninja is like a sick, good Pokemon. Like, it's got, wait, what, wait. Oh, there's Ash Greninja, yeah, that's right. So there's like, like, this, like, if you wanted to do competitive, like, oh, whatever. Um, again, like, the, the, the <sighs> I think I remember seeing that there's supposed to be some sort of tie to like spies. I don't know. I don't like it. And then Ash Greninja. I don't. I don't understand. 
like, yeah, I think that's the other thing. It's like out of all three of the starters, Greninja was objectively my least favorite. So, hang on. Is there a reason? Can I do that? I can't do that here. Damn it. Okay. I was going to try to like add some more VIPs to the channel in case you guys, you guys had stuff get caught by like auto mod, but yeah, there's just, there's something about Greninja that, like, they really, they really hammered on Greninja. And also that's its fucking tongue around its neck, like a fucking scarf. That's gross. Put it away. I don't want to touch that. I don't want to see that. Like, okay, Miley Cyrus. Fine. Funnelby. It's a bunny. It's an alright bunny. Um. It's okay. I, like, like. Again, early stage, it's it's okay. Like I can't really, like the really early root Pokemon are objectively fine. They're good for where you are in the game. And most of the time I'm okay with the designs. Like Bunnelby is fine. And then you get to Diggersby though. And I fucking hate Diggersby. Like first off, Diggersby though was a forced meme. And forced memes always suck. Um, also, um, there was a guy I knew in college who sent me an unsolicited dick pic whose Facebook profile picture was Diggersby for, like, the longest time. So that automatically puts D Diggersby down at, like, the bottom of the fucking list. Yeah, yeah. Like, so there was a while where, um, on Facebook... It would be like Pokemon profile picture in December. Like it was just a thing that happened. People just changed their profile pictures to Pokemon and it was cool. Um, but this guy changed his profile picture to fucking Diggersby and then um, like definitely sent me a dick pic that I was not here for. Yes, hello Ez, hello Boom. Much love to you. So yeah, no. Do not like thumbs down. Um. Oh yeah, it was definitely a big show. Definitely a big show. Fletchling is a. Okay, so I have I have love for Fletchling because this was like the first early root bird that I felt had any long term viability in gameplay. Um, he's just a little guy. For starters, he's just, yeah, a tiny Robin Pokemon. He's just a little guy. And then you get to Fletchender. And Fletchender's pretty fucking cool. Uh, and Fletchender pulls, puts on a fire typing. Which, this was, yeah, big packs. Um, like, it's just, it's just cool. Like, the fact that we got a viable, I don't know, like, yeah, the Fletchling line, and then we get to Talon, first, first off, let's get to Talonflame. Talonflame is fucking bananas, love this thing, and yet, and yet, I never used Talonflame, uh, because I had, I started with the Fire Titer. Um, yeah, it's, it's just, it's a cool line, it's, it's a long-term use Pokemon, and it's just, it's super fast, right? So it's got like speed going for it. Yeah, it's it's cool as hell. Way cool. Oh, Scatterbug. I love Scatterbug. Uh mostly because I I was that weirdo um that Wait, am I thinking of the right thing? Yeah, okay. So I when I finally got the shiny charm in Gen 6, I decided to collect every form of Vivalon. Uh, and I'm not sure if we're going to be able to see all of them, if they're going to put them all in, but there were like fucking 20. Um, Scatterbug was... I just... I love... I, I think this is probably one of the cutest um, early root bug Pokemon. And then you get fucking vivil oh yes we can see them all well okay it looks like they've only put in like seven of them but anyway the point of vivalon is mostly that where your <laughs> it's, 
is fucking cute. It's pupa. Sorry. Um, but there were like fucking 20 of these and where your 3DS was registered geographically is where, uh, the pattern was. I, yeah, I have all, oh, is that what you're trying to say there, Karen? Yes, I have all the Vivalons. Uh, so here's Meadow Pattern, uh, Continental Pattern, Garden, uh, Elegant is one of my favorites, Marine, uh, High Plains, and River. I'm trying to remember, hang on, let me, um, dang, legit, the Mulan patterns. I'm just gonna look them all up so we can see them, because they're just, they're really pretty. Here we go. Um, so I believe ours was, like, I think we were Meadow? I can't remember. I remember I had the, the hardest time finding, um, all right, hang on. Let's do this one. This is, this is better. Yeah. So, yeah, I think Meadow was ours. Um, the Pokeball one was so, 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 so cute. Uh, and then the fancy pattern I also ended up with. Uh, Icy Snow was really hard to find. Um, oh, but the other thing that was cool was that if you bred that particular... I think if you bred that particular one, you could, like, hatch it into... Yeah. Either way, I remember having a The last one I got was Archipelago. And it was just like, it was so hard to fucking come across, but I loved them. They're all so cool. Um, and it was just this like little thing. There was like a whole community of like Vivalon trading. I think I got a lot of them through, uh, through Tumblr of all places, but it was cool. I liked it. Litleo! Litleo is just such a cute little, like, I first off, I couldn't believe they waited this long to have a fucking lion Pokemon. Uh, and Litleo is just cute. Look at the little paw pads. Like, he's got the little thingies. It's so cute. So cute. I remember there was this one poke, one of the Vivalon, now that I'm remembering it, was like a Hawaiian exclusive. So like, if your, if your 3DS was set for Hawaii, you would specifically get the one type of Vivalon. Yeah, Litleo is good. And then Pyroar is cool. Hello, Pyroar. Thank you. Uh, Pyroar is very cool because it is very mimicking of um, actual lions in that sense that there's like the gender, the gender dimorphism is really strong, but also like they both look cool as hell. So I ain't even mad though. I ain't even the slightest bit mad. Um, also, male Pyroar remind me of the the villain in this game, who is one of my all-time favorite Pokemon villains. So, yeah, she's, she's gonna she'll bite you with a- Like, look at that. This is like, she looks at you, she's like, I am taking no shit from any of you. It's just, she's so cool. Um, yeah, I just, I like them an awful lot. La baby! Oh. So I believe this is when we were when we were streaming the other day, um, when Necro came in, he was asking if anybody knew who the smallest Pokemon was. This is the smallest Pokemon. Flabebe is uh the tiniest little tiny. Um, I think it's the same height as a couple of others, but it is the lightest as well. It is just a tiny, tiny, tiny little baby! They're so and they ride on flowers. They ride on flowers. There's also I don't know if we're gonna see, but there are definitely Flabebe have a bunch of like different colors. Uh, and I think yeah. So and like okay, Floette also beautiful. Like and these are like pure fairy types too, which I feel like Gen Six obviously went really heavy on fairy types because they were new then, but... Ugh, yes! I mean, seriously. Um, I was so mad about that. That was, that was the one thing I really, really wish they'd been able to do more with. Like, 
they could have expanded on the AZ fucking storyline. And I wish they had. That would have put that generation, like, so top tier. So top tier. Yeah, Fluet, tiny little Fluet. And then you get Florgis, who is also still really cool. Uh, I just, I love, and then, all right, now I need to look up, uh, Florgis colors, because there are several of these as well. Yeah, so there's red, orange, yellow, blue, and white. I had, I think I had a white Florgis that I was really, really happy with. Um... But yeah, so she's, you go from eight inches tall to three foot seven for Florges. I just, oh, she's so pretty. So I don't remember what Flower Veil does. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's just, she's cool. She's so cool. Um, <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. Yeah. I love, I love this fucking, ugh. Oh, wow. Look at this fan art. That's cool. But yeah, she's, ugh. AZ's Fluid had a specific flower and she's just, she's so cute. She's so fucking cute. And also AZ is like fucking a gajillion feet tall, if I remember correctly. Like that was the whole point. Like AZ was supposed to be like eight goddamn feet tall. Ugh. Yeah. Sigh. Skiddo! Skiddo is such a good Pokemon. I used Skiddo in my, po my playthrough because when it evolved into, first off, it's a grass type goat Pokemon, which is amazing. I love goats. I'm so glad that they like actually finally made a goat Pokemon. And it evolves into Go Goat. And my Go Goat learned Surf. Specific move that was only designed. Oh, cute. Yeah, so Go Goat learned, my Go Goat learned Surf. So anytime somebody tried to use like a fire type against me, I just wiped it out. I had, I had a lot of really, like, tricky Pokemon that gen. Like, Pokemon with attacks that you wouldn't expect them to necessarily have. It was, it was cool. I was very proud of myself that time around. Like, I, I thought I was so clever. Pancham! Okay, Pancham is cute. I, I, it's, it's a good, it's an interesting, like, fighting type bear. Like, you actually get a fighting type bear, which is good. Um, I like that one a lot. And it's just sassy. Like, look at this. He's a high stepper. Like, he's like, gonna fuck you up. And then, and then it evolves into Pangoro, who is beast mode. So cool. Karen, did you use a Pangoro? I don't remember. I know I, I thought about it, but I didn't actually get that far. Um, I, I latched onto my party like really early on. Oh my god, go go on a surfboard, yes! Oof. I had... Somebody I knew had... Had a Pangoro. I don't remember who it was. Hmm. <laughs> Cute little tiny child. Oh, you can you tattoo me from Persona 4? Alright. Furfru, gimmick Pokemon. Clearly gimmick Pokemon. Uh, mostly because Furfru, you could, you could give like haircuts to. And they're fine. Like, it's fine. Like, I don't, I don't know who's really gonna keep a fucking Furfru around. It's a cool Pokemon and a very good, like probably one of the best canine Pokemon um but like again no no use it's just gimmicks oh Esper oh Esper 
I love, I fucking love Esper. I love like when Esper became a meme of just like staring off into nothing. Like, first was looking above average Pokemon still had one in Nuzlocke. Really? That's good to know. I guess my, I never stick with like, I don't know. I, I almost never use normal types. And because I, I guess I haven't found the right way to use them properly unless they're going to be like have all of my HMs on them, but that you don't need that anymore. I'm trying to contain his power of criticism. Baby, poor baby. They're just like, look at that. That's such a good fucking Pokemon. Like, genuine. And then, you know what? Mailstick? Not bad. I, I don't think it is befitting of such a good. <laughs> yes, exactly. Like, I mean, the first off, gender dimorphism in Meowstic was pretty cool. Uh, I appreciated that. I like that Meow, like female Meowstic just looks like she's got a beret on. Very French, like so fucking French. Um, but I don't know if I think that they're as nice, like as cool as Esper. Like I think Esper is definitely awesome. Um, then, okay. I love this line. I think that was my other Pokemon that I couldn't remember. I couldn't remember what my sixth Pokemon was. I think it was um, this line. So Hunter is just cool. I, I, just, I love the concept of a steel ghost type. Way cool. Uh, and also it's a sword, but it's like a fucking possessed sword, which is even wilder. Dublade is cool. Um, yeah, because I, I definitely had a Dublade that I carried around for a long time. Yeah, right? It's like, it's just swords. Like, you... I know a lot of the item Pokemon are very divisive. I love this line. It's so cool. And then fucking Aegislash. Okay, first off, I never use it in shield form. I always use it in blade form. Um... Dublade is... <laughs> I just, I love, I love this bitch. It's so cool. Like, look at, the, look at that the defense through the roof and then you get to blade form and his attack goes through the roof. So neat, so neat. Ugh. Who's that, Spritzy? Oh, Spritzy, this thing. So Spritzy, I have, I have had a bit of a change of heart on because I initially didn't really like them, but then I learned that they're supposed to be based on um, uh, what, what are those fucking things called? Plague Doctors. And I was like, oh, that's really cool. Um, and especially, like, another fairy type. I love fairy types. Like, I disproportionately love fairy types. Which is very strange. Yeah, perfumes from when you think disease spreads through stink. And then you get aromatis. And you know what? You, you try an aromatise. I don't... I don't like aromatise's design as much. I think... I think it's just like... It needs a little something else. Or what it really is, I don't necessarily like like the weird head design there. Pardon me. Um, but I, just, I love the fact that it looks kind of like she's got like a big fucking skirt on. Oh, Swirlix. Swirlix just got like the blep. Um. Yes, honestly, yes, would love that. Like a big, like a big fucking tutu. I think that would be cool as shit. Um. Swirlix is just sexy. Play Doctor Halloween makes it's a good jingle of aroma teas. I want, I, like, I keep trying to think of, like, more things to say about Swirlix. I can't. It's, look at that. It's just, it's so generic. It's fine. Um, Slurpuff, <laughs> Slurpuff is cute. Like, I just, I want to be friends with Slurpuff. If it doesn't get enough sugar, it becomes incredibly grumpy. Also saying, also, oh, wait, I bought fucking cotton candy today. Hell yeah. 
Slurpuff, like, Slurpuff reminds me of a Sanrio character. Like, I feel like Slurpuff would fit seamlessly in to, like, um, like, the San X line. I don't know. I just, I think it would work. I think it would work. And also, it's just, it's, it's got a cherry on top. Yo, baby. Pop. Oh, Inkay! Inkay is a cool fucking Pokemon. So, like, I think one of the things that I really liked about Gen 6 is that their gimmicks were at least interesting gimmicks. Like, the fact that when Inkay evolves, it won't evolve unless you're literally holding your 3DS upside down to evolve into Malamar. And Malamar is just badass. Like, yes, Cinema Roll Sir Puff. Yes. Like, this is just such a cool fucking design. Like, the upside down squid. Ugh. So fucking cool. And the fact that it's dark and psychic. Love that. It's said that Malamar's hypnotic powers play this role in certain history changing events. Uh, Binnacle. Binnacle's fine. I, well, no, Binnacle's not fine. I don't like Binnacle at all. This thing's stupid looking. I, I don't like that it just looks angry. They look mad at each other, and yet they have to, like, live with each other. That's so shit. That's bullshit. I don't know. I just, I, mm, uh, mm, do not, do not, no. And then... I'm, I'm like prepared because I know I'm going to take psychic damage as soon as I look at Barbarical. I fucking hate Barbarical. Its face is a head. I mean, its face is a hand. Yeah, worse Diglett. And then this motherfucker got too many hands. They all got fucking eyeballs in their hands. I don't... Like, I like... I said they're getting along rock. I feel like... I feel like they could have done a better job of a barnacle-based Pokemon. I just don't like how this worked. I don't like it. Uh, but Skrelp. Skrelp is adorable. Skrelp is such a good Pokemon. Like, look at this guy. This is just so good. Leafy Sea Dragons love... I've always loved Leafy Sea Dragons. They make me extremely happy. Um... And it's poison and water type, which is cool as shit. Could be the light. It's, I think it's the lighting. Hang on, let me try fucking around with it again. Oh, now I'm like, hang on. Now I'm really pank. This works. I guess I'm like less pank maybe now? Yeah, yeah, their description is so metal. Uh... When other Pokemon come to feast on the seaweed, Skrelp feasts on them instead. Hey! Dragalge. Now look at fucking- Dragalge is so good. So good. Uh, how many are there? Well, I believe there are just under 900 and we're on number 692. So tonight's stream is going to be the last Pokemon review stream until I get back to uh, <laughs> to regular video games. Um, but I just, I love Dragology. I think it's such a cool representation. It's just, it's Poison Dragon. Like, it loses the water typing, gains a dragon typing. So cool. The Grind Through One Piece. <laughs> yeah. Just under 900 from what I've been able. I think it's like 898. Clauncher's all right. Clauncher's fine. It's just, it's a shrimp. It's like a big old shrimp. And then there's like fucking Clauncher. I always forget what Clauncher looks like because Clauncher is wild. Um, It's just a big, like, it's got a fucking tank for a hand. Okay, sure. Fucking four foot long, 77 pound shrimp. Oh, Helioptile! Okay, yeah, Helioptile's cute. Electric normal type. Um, very, like, I guess it's like the desert, very desert-based Pokemon. 
And same with Heliolisk. Heliolisk I always forget about. Yes, Helioptile is friends with Scraggy straight up. Um, Heliolisk, I, I love the, the, like, it really leans into, like, the sun aspect of it. It looks so jolly. Like, it's doing, like, a little, like, kickflip. I love it. Oh, okay, so this is the first one we got dry, or, uh, fossils back in for, like, the first time in a long time. And Tyrant is okay. Um, Tyrant is, like, the first, like, actual T-Rex Pokemon. And, like, Tyrantrum? I really don't like the design on Tyrantrum. I think Tyrant is way better than Tyrantrum. It's fine, I guess. It's fine. Uh, I actually, I far preferred Amora. Uh, the Amora line I thought was really pretty. Um, very unique typing with rock and ice. Uh, I think I tried to run Sheer Cold on this. And <laughs> I don't know if I actually got that because Sheer Cold is just such a fucking guessing game if it's actually going to work or not. Amora and then Aurorus. Look at Aurorus. Aurorus is just so pretty. Ugh. Like, this is, this is such a cool interpretation of, of like a sauropod dinosaur. She's so pretty. Does she have a cool cry? Let's look her up. Let's see. Oh, hell yeah! That's cool as hell! That is, like, yeah. Aurorus is probably one of my favorites of that particular, like, of the fossils. Um, I just, I think she's pretty. She's so pretty. And then, of course, Sylveon, who is wonderful. Um, Sylveon is just a delightful. Sylveon's shiny form is one of my favorites. Very much like that. Uh, it's just, it's a cool Pokemon. I've, I've not used one, but just really, really pretty. Really pretty. And, like, look at that special, the specials. Like, so good. So good. Halucha! Halucha is one that I forget about often because it's just got such a discordant typing between fighting and flying. Uh, wanted to use it, but again... Single stage Pokemon, no evolution. Um, I would, I, but I love the concept of her being like. First off, all Haluchas are like girls in my mind for some reason. But with, I, I just, I love the concept of like a luchador Pokemon. I think it's really well done. Deden, I don't remember what Deden's gimmick was. Oh, Deden had the fairy typing. That was his gimmick. Um, it's cute. It's really cute. I love. I love these little, like, the electric rats, the electric mice Pokemon. They're cute. Also, it's got pickup, which is one of my favorite abilities of all time because I just want stuff constantly. Um. Oh, Carbink. Carbink is another one of, like, the weird shoehorn fairy types. But the reasoning, like, I love, I love, like, what becomes of Carbink. Yeah, it, does, it says it doesn't evolve, but, like, there's, there's like, a not-technical evolution to Carbink that just my brain always goes there, and I like that one a lot. Goomy! My sweet baby! I love Goomy! I love Goomy so much! Does mine have Sap Sipper? No, I think it had Hydration. Yeah, it definitely had Hydration. Um, I just, I love, this is, the Goomy line is probably my favorite, um, pseudo legendary which is bold i know uh but i just i thought it was such a cool fucking like sligu was kind of it suffers from like second stage evolution but gudra oh i love i loved gudra i was so happy when mine evolved it was like i i just love my my gudra had flamethrower and ice beam uh just so good. So good. Klefki! 
Slefki got a lot of shit for just being keys. It's keys. I don't necessarily think it would have been a choice that I would have made, but I think it's kind of fun. Oh, okay, so we're getting into a series of Pokemon that I greatly enjoy. I love Phantom. I just, like, first off, Phantom has one of the most terrifying, like, flavor texts ever. Uh, after a lost child perished in the forest, their spirit possessed a tree stump, causing the spirit's rebirth as this Pokemon. What? It's just a baby! It's just a fucking baby! And then, and then, you get motherfucking Trevenant, who is so cool. Like, I love Trevenant. Trevenant is just like, first off, this music is very fitting. What is this? Black 2, White 2 from Gensis. Yeah, okay, makes sense to have like the spooky Pokemon playing. Uh, just, oh, so creepy, so cool, so fucked up. I love it. Uh, did not use one, would consider using one. Oh, and then you get Pumpkaboo, whom I also love because Pumpkaboo is just Halloween, and I love Halloween. Um, I know there were the other thing, the gimmick with Pumpkaboo was that there were like a billion different versions of it. There was like little ones and then really, really big ones. I don't know if I'm gonna see that when we go to Gorgeist. Yeah, okay, so they're not gonna. You could get like super tiny Gorgeist, and then you could get like extra large Gorgeist, and they're just like big boys. Um. The cool thing I like about both Phantom and Pumpkaboo is that they were trade evolutions. So if you put them on Wonder Trade, you would automatically get the evolved form with, unless somebody stuck like a fucking Everstone on it, which I really, really appreciated. Am I looking that pink again? I feel like I'm looking pink again. I can't ever get the damn lighting in this thing right. Oh well. Bergmite. I forgot it existed. Yeah, there was there was like super small, small, medium, small. There was like small, medium, large, and then extra large. Oh wait, there were four sizes of fucking Trevenant too. Really? I did not know that. <sighs> Again, <sighs> the problem that I have with a lot of Ice type Pokemon is that they just have so many weaknesses. Like, it's fine, I guess, I suppose. I don't know. And then Avalug, again, I just forget it exists straight up. It's cool, no, no pun intended, but I don't think I would ever use a solo type ice type Pokemon. Oh, Noibat, I love Noibat. Noibat is flying and dragon type. I just, I love, oh, Pumpkaboo and Gorgeist. Yes, 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 okay. Ah, reposition, reposition, reposition. Um, I love Noibat. I think Noibat is really cool. I love the design. I love the fact that it's a, a like a cave dwelling Pokemon that really, you can see how much it relies on like wave movement. Love it. Yeah, who needs a solid ice type when you can just have Frostlass? Noivern, like I thought I liked Noivern more, but there's just like Noivern needs some like something something going on with his face to make me love it even more, because I really like Noivern. Um, even if it's a jerk, aggressive and cruel, this Pokemon will ruthlessly torment enemies that are helpless in the dark. No, fuck you, fuck you, man. You're mean. Ah, fucking majestic. When so when they first released the trailers for X and Y, um, in the reveal for Xerneas, I remember very distinctly somebody had made a gif of Xerneas like turning his head and then it just said fucking majestic at the bottom. I loved it. Xerneas was is one of my favorite um legendaries. I think it's just so cool. I love the idea of it. I love that it's pure fairy type. Um, it's just, it's just a cool fucking Pokemon. 
Um, I, again, I have a lot of bias towards fairy typings because I love fairy types. Ooh, wait, hang on. Shiny Xerneas? Whoa. Which one's real? Okay, this is on Cerebi, so this is real. Damn, that is so cool. Oh, that's cool. Love that. And you know what? It is pretty cool too. Like, I don't, I, I like, I like that they leaned real heavy into X and Y. Like they literally look like the, the letters. Um, the felt is pretty cool. Uh, never used one, but I like the concept of dark and flying. Like that, that really, that speaks to me on a cool level. Ugh, Zygarde. I'm still really like fucking annoyed by the concept of Zygarde because for the while I thought it was just gonna be fucking 50% form. But then there's like goddamn 10% form, which is a fucking dog. Yeah, and I'm still mad we never got a Pokemon Z. We deserved a Pokemon Z. Gen 6 needed more. And then the complete form. What the fuck is this thing? What the fuck is this thing? This thing looks like a goddamn Transformer. Like, this is gonna turn into a fucking tractor trailer and fuck me up. I mean, it's gonna fuck me up like that, too. I just, woof, I forgot. I forgot what complete form looked like. I remembered 50% form because I just, I remember what this thing looks like because this is the way you found it in X and Y. Um, and then 10% form, it's it's just like a fucking, like a dog, it's fine. And then this motherfucking transformer here with like a face on its chest, but then another face on a head. And it's got like fucking like, what? Why? Why? No, next. Um, okay. I love Diancy. I love Diancy. I think she is so cute. Not just because she's pink, but I love her. Uh, I love the rock fairy typing. And I love her mega. I, for a long time, I'd wanted to cosplay her mega. Uh, and I, I may still someday if I ever decide that cosplay is something that I want to put money into again. Um... But I just, I, like, I love, I would have done such a cool Gajinka for this. It would have been, like, a long, flowy robe and had, like, a fascinator shaped like the gem. Oh. Would have, would have loved to have done that at some point. But didn't end up working out. Yeah, yeah, that's the other thing. Like, a sudden transformation of Carbink. Like, mother of fuck, just make it evolve. The rendition of the scientist. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, that's, uh, I'm mad about that boom. Like, still mad about that one. <laughs> Alright. Oh, Hoopa! Hoopa! I have a Hoopa, I just don't remember... Like, I never used it. And I never saw the movie, so, like, I feel like a lot of the legendaries we only get info on in the movies. And I feel like that almost does a disservice. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, oh, and then there's Hoop Unbound, which is horrifying. I hate it. Get it away from me. Why is it 21 feet tall? Why does it weigh 10, 000, like, a thousand pounds? <laughs> I respect, I respect that. Like, I big time respect that. Because I feel the same way. Give me Pokemon Z, you goddamn cowards. Like, seriously. Um, also Hoopa's terrible. <laughs> How's the weather up there, Hoopa? Volcanion, I think Volcanion was like really novel in the fact that it was the first like fire and water dual type. Uh, but who's gonna use that? Like, eh, 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 it's fine, it's fine. Ah, okay. Okay. Um, give Jenny Bean pats. But now we are in Alola. And this is where, this is where my memory starts to get a little fuzzy. Now I played through 
of, I don't want to call it like the pre-game of Alola, but I never, all right, wait. Okay, I will wait. I will wait. If you want to go feed Jenny, I will wait until you get back. You just got to get back. I can, I can still bullshit about Alola and just like set up the scene. So right, I finished the game. Um, but then I never took on the after quests. Like I know, like I did so much second game, like post game in, in gen six. And then I got to gen seven and I just didn't care as much, which sucked because I was so hyped for it. And I was really hyped for like all of the Pokemon involved. Like Owlis. Oh, that's so cute. Um, so there's a lot of like, especially with the, um, the ultra beasts, I never got into any of the ultra beast stuff. So those are all going to be new to, mostly new to me, especially because they put different ones, not only did they put different ones in sun and moon, but then they put more different ones in ultra sun and ultra moon, which I ultra sun and ultra moon is a fucking joke. Like I'm still mad about that. I've, I've barely started it. I think I, you know what it was? I started streaming it and then my streaming 2DS died. Uh, so I was just embittered to it. So I was just like, you know what? Fuck it. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna carry on with it. And it's just kind of sitting on my shelf right now. I will, I'll get back to it eventually. If there, if there ever ends up being a better way to stream 3DS games than the way that I had, um, I might just jump into Ultra Moon again. Yeah, like, Sun and Moon was good. Like, I liked the story. I liked the concept of it. I really... I think after being so let down by the fact that there was no Pokemon Z, that they decided to do what was effectively, like, a reboot for... for... Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon? I don't know. Um, ooh, that's filthy. I should really, like, actually clean this at some point. How do you guys, like, clean keyboards? You can't wash it. Like, I can't, like, put water on it, can I? Um. I'm trying to remember if there's, like, anything that I could go back. Because I really don't want to, like, move too far ahead in this with uh, without Ez being back. Um. Yeah, so I was let down. And then, okay, really hot take. I just super don't like Gen 3. So even with the revamp, I did not like Ultra uh, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, and I didn't get particularly far in those games. I was just really let down. I was really let down. There was really it was too much fucking water in that game. Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon was the exact same game with softening, loosening me up, making it a little more outgoing and Ultra Space. Why? That se that seems useless. Like, I mean, I can understand wanting to give more of, like, a, a, a thing to, like, Lily and maybe not making Luz and Mean being as much of a bitch. Um, but I just, mm, Feels like a poor choice. Feels like a poor choice. <sighs> oh, man. I'm getting tired. <laughs> but not, like, I think, like, the, the, oh, okay. So today, not only did I have, did I get my second shot, but I had to go to the DMV as well. So I was just like little miss standing in line all day. Uh, but it didn't, it didn't end up being as bad as I thought it was going to be. The, the DMV moved really fast and I was literally in and out within like 25 minutes, which I did not expect whatsoever. Um, also for the curious, the KFC chicken sandwich is pretty good. Um, I would give it like a a low, like a high B. Like I don't, it's definitely not better than Popeyes, uh, but it is. It's a pretty damn good sandwich. They have the the pickle ratio is really good. They actually put more mayo on it, which I appreciated um, because KFC's chicken has a tendency to be a bit dry at times. But that super balanced it out, and their fries are really good now. Like. They're not potato wedges, they're just actual french fries. Um, seasoned nicely. I'm, I'm talking about food again. 
because of course I am. Um, okay, all right, good. No worries. You weren't gone all that long. Yeah, you weren't even gone five minutes. There you go. So, Rowlet, the true, like, second, second best Borb with, uh, uh, not to. Like, look at them. They're just, they're Borbs. They're so good. They're, they're round. Such a round, a wonderful round boy. A plus. Good fucking Pokemon. Um, Dartrix is just Aaron from, um, what's his name? Game Grumps. This is just Aaron from Game Grumps, and you can't convince me otherwise. Uh, really, really massive step down for Dartrix. Like, I understand that it's basically, it's like, it's the type of owl that it is that it's referencing, but I just, I can't, I can't not see fucking Game Grumps Aaron. Uh, and then Decidueye. I was disappointed. Like, cool concept, but, like, it started out as grass flying and then it loses the flying type for taping for ghost? Weird. Weird choice. Just a weird, weird choice. It should have stayed flying. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what makes this ghost type. I don't know. It's a choice. It's, well, yeah, I mean, a lot is better than Incineroar. Um, it's dead is what? Ah, okay. Um, and then you, okay, so you start out with Litten, and Litten's pretty good. Like, I don't, I don't have a particular affinity for cats, but, like, as far as cat goes, like, Litten's a good cat. Like, I think Litten may be the best-looking cat Pokemon uh, beyond, besides Purloin. Uh, comes a game group and dies of embarrassment. Ah! Um, and then Torcat, Torcat's still really good. Like, I actually, this is a surprisingly good second stage evolution. Like, it, I like that it's still quad. I like that it, it's, it looks kind of like a cool tiger. Um, it's, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah, Torcat's got a tooth, and I love Pokemon with tooths. Ugh, and then... Ugh, they did you so dirty. Why it got such a big fucking hand? Like, is it... <sighs> I don't... I don't like it. It looks like a Masters of the Universe villain. Just, I, I don't... I don't think it ended up well. And like, I know, yeah, it's it's a little too furry for my taste. It's a little too anthro. Um, I also, I don't know if it's particularly good competitively. Like, I tend to choose my starters based off. Ow, mother of fuck that hurt. Um, we had pizza for dinner. So, ow. I just, Design does nothing for me. It is. Did Incineroar end up in Smash? I think Incineroar is in Smash. Hang on. Yeah, Incineroar is in Smash. And I don't. I actually like it better in Smash. The art, like, it looks better. Like, look at the hand there. I love Pablio. But yeah, it definitely looks better in Smash than it does in Pokemon. And then my baby. Look at this sweet little clown. Like, just like circus. It's a circus buddy. It's such a friend. It's just such a good friend. I love it. You just want to like... Oh, you have a girl in Cinderella? That, that, you know what? That works. I love, I love Pablio because Pablio looks like... Oh my god, like... People were just dunking on Poplio left and right, and I don't know why, because I always liked Poplio. I don't know. It's a weird choice. I don't know. I, I just, it, it looks like it's going to play, like, the horn at, like, a circus. It's cute. And then Brion, I don't like as much. 
I think it might just be this angle. It might, I'm sure if I see Brion from a better... Yeah, it's an opera clown. It's so cute. And then... And then... This fucking majestic... Majestic being. I love Primarina. My Primarina was aces in Ultras... In Sun and Moon. Or Moon. I have Moon. There we go. Love my Primarina. So beautiful. Oh, God. Just so beautiful. Yawn! Criminy! Cheese and quackers. I just like that Pokemon an awful lot. Oh! Okay, um, I- So, Picky Peck is a Pokemon that I forgot about. Uh, and yet, Picky Peck ended up being one of my- Yep, I also, I reset until I got a girl Poplio. Uh, Picky Peck ended up being one of my full game Pokemon. Like, Trumbeak was alright, but then, obviously, now this is, this is some like fucking old meme status on my channel, but fucking Toucanon is so goddamn cool. I just, I, uh, I still want to fight it. But when it fights alongside me, then it's different. Like, it's such a cool... Like, at first of all, I couldn't believe we didn't have a Toucan Pokemon before then. I have a girl Cinderace, too. Well, no, I actually don't know if I made it all the way through to Cinderace. I think I'm in, like, second stage. Yes! Toucan fight! God, like I said, it's such an old meme. But I love it. I love it so much. Oh. oh, young goose. Fiona. Oh, I like it. Uh, what what can you really say about young goose? Like, I feel like we already had a mongoose Pokemon in Zangoose, even though it didn't really look the part as much. I named a lot of them Youngtown, just because it was funny. And then, uh. I'm not even going to say anything about gum shoes. Next. All right. Grubbin. Uh, and again, okay. This is... Alola was weird because I wanted to keep using a lot of the early stage Pokemon. Yeah, exactly. Like, it just... it <laughs> So unfortunate. I I actually played through with a, uh, with a Grubbin. Uh, loved this thing. It was really fun. I couldn't believe that I actually, like, kept playing with it because I never use bug types. And then you get, and then you get charge a bug, which is so fucking stupid, but like in a really endearing way that it's like a fucking electrical outlet you just plug into the fucking wall, like a USB. I love that. I love it so much. Um, it's just so silly. And then you get fucking Vikavolt. And Vikavolt is cool as shit. I I do have a weak a, a penchant for electric bug types. Uh, because I love um Georgie. Why do I keep wanting to call her Georgie? Um the little fucking spider friend. Yeah, that part sucked. Vikavolt, the only fact that the only way you could evolve was in the specific place. Cause, but it was stupid because it was so late in the game because that's also where, um, what's it called? Uh, yes, thank you, Joltik. That's the one I was thinking of. But Vikavolt and Magnazone would evolve in the same place. And I'm like, I need these before now. Thank you. Pain in my ass. Ugh, Crawler. Right. Forgot about Crawler. Um... It's okay. Why doesn't it have a water typing in there at all? It's a crab. It should have some sort of water typing. Um, I like that it has like a black eye. That's a clever touch. Um, oh God, I don't think I've ever actually seen Crabominable. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. It's punch typing. Don't. Oof, is it supposed to be like a coconut crab? Is that what it's supposed to be like for a real life thing? But also it's got an ice typing? 
why did it get an ice typing? That doesn't make sense. But so, Alola is where a lot of things start to, like, fall out of place for me. Not that I dislike it, but there's just a lot of stuff that I'm just like, huh? Ugh, or choreo. Um, it's cute. By a style, pom pom style. I like that all of these have different uh typings. Pao -oh style and sensu style. Like I love. I think sensu style or choreo might be my favorite. Uh, just because she's so pretty. Um, they're all they're really cool. Like, I like this gimmick. I like the fact that they've all got different typings, that they all look unique enough. It makes sense that they would have had, like, divergent evolution and appearance on the different islands. It tracks. I like it. Wish that there was some sort of evolution, but, you know, doesn't always work out that way. Cutie fly! The little tiny friend. <laughs> The littlest and the tiniest. This, I love the concept of like the bug fairy in that sense. Um, hang on. I was advisor thing. So it's just, it's cute. Yeah, cutie fly and Rebombi. Like, Rebombi, look at how sweet. Like, that's, I feel like that's a way of like kind of humanizing a Pokemon while still having it look like a freaking Pokemon? So sweet. So, so, so sweet. Um, like, and it's a bee, so of course it's sweet. Um, oh, Rock Ruff! I forgot about Rock Ruff! I mean, like, not really, because I just, I love the concept of Rock Ruff. It's just so, so cute. What a good fucking dog. What a good fucking dog. You can pet the dog. Send my favorite bomb be the carry through the elite. Oh, I bet! Rebombi is vicious. Like, in a way that people don't anticipate. But then it evolves into Lycanroc. You know, midday form Lycanroc is alright. I like that one alright. Uh, midnight form is not great. Do not like it. Um, dusk form's okay. Like, I get, I get that it's just like a fucking werewolf Pokemon, but like fucking midnight form? This is, this is like... Oh, I'm gonna make a niche reference. It just reminds me of like Topsy from the last festival of Negs on Neopets. It's just, it's, it's, yeah, it's cursed. It's really cursed. Midday form Lycan Rock is just a good, solid pup. Like, A. Plus. Good job. Oh, wishy washy. Look at his little, little sad little bitch. Oh, I love him. Oh, and then you get school form, and that is also cool as fuck. Like, I love the concept of, like, an entire school of fish coming together to be, like, one fucking beast Pokemon. Yeah, like, become large. Like, for serious. I love this. I think this is so cool. Like, look at that. Look at that. You do not want to fuck with- Although it is- it's slow as shit, but look at that! Like, when you go from, like, solo form- Oh. Oh, it's just a little wimpy baby. But then you get like all of them and it's like, motherfucker, I will end you. Is it one big frog or a bunch of smaller frogs? Okay, here's what I love Marini. I had a Marini in my, in my, uh, in my party. I believe, uh, Moses Plague of Wishy Washy. I believe somebody wonder traded me a marine, like a level one marini, and I was like so stoked. Cause that was like right around the time that people, like I started playing it a little late because I got it the day it came out, but I didn't have the time to really like delve into it. Um, and by that point in time, people already started to like breed stuff and cast and put the cast offs on wonder trade. So I ended up with a really cool marini. Um, it's just the, and then Toxapex. I think this is a, a cool freaking Pokemon. Um, I just think it's cool. I just think it's neat. Like, oh man, poison and water. That's such a cool typing. Mudbray. I, I started, I believe I have a Mudbray or either a Mudbray or a Mudsdale in my party in Sword, actually. 
Uh, I feel like I should have used, like, I, I felt like I ignored Mudbray in Alola. Um, even though it's still a really cool Pokemon. Um, just, I think it's neat. And then Mudsdale. This thing is so fucking cool. It is just a, a fucking horse made out of rock. Mudsdale is cool as shit. Eight feet tall, 2,000 pounds. Like, this thing will fuck you up. You do not want to fuck with Mudsdale. There. Oh, Dupiter. Um, yeah, Mudsdale's a fucking tank. Like, legit. Um, no, I don't really even know. Category, water bubble. Abilities, water bubble. Um, Nobody's gonna use- well, I guess they might try to use it against Jupiter because it's like water and bug type and... But still, it's just a real horse. Yeah. It's, uh, it's okay. I remember when they teased a rock when it, I was just like... Uh, that's fine, I guess. This thing is five- it's almost six goddamn feet long. What in the fuck? Do not want to encounter that in like a back alley. I'll pass. Thanks. Um... No. Next. <laughs> oh, Fomantis. I forgot about that. Okay, this, so this line is an interesting line. Um, it reminds me a lot of, like, Petlil and Lilligant. And I think they would be friends. It's just, it's a pure grass type. Um, and then Lorantis is cool. Yeah, 180 pound spider. Like, mm, you know what? I like spiders, but I don't know if I 180 pounds like spiders. Uh, Lur I like Lurantis. It, it was surprising to me that Lurantis does not have a bug typing at all. And it's pure grass? Yeah, it looks like an Orchid Mantis. And I I am fond of Orchid Manti. Mantises? Mantises? They sell really high in Animal Crossing. Uh, I need to actually plant more wa more white flowers because I used to have a lot more. And now I don't. Um. Oh, right. More lull. Um. Eh. It's okay. Again, it's another one that I've just kind of, like, forgotten about. Because I, would, I don't think I would have used it. Um. It's a small. It's heavy, though. It's, like, eight inches long and three and a half pounds. Oh, right. That's why I didn't want to use more lull. Because Shinatic is awful. Shinatic looks like a Mario enemy. Sheenatic looks like what would happen if Toad got fucking possessed by a parasite. There. That's that's exactly what I think about Sheenatic. Sheenatic is fucking cursed. Sheenatic is like bad Toad. Pass. Love Salandit. Salandit was in my party. I fucking hunted until I found a female Salandit. Because I wanted a Salazzle so badly. And I didn't want one that somebody traded for me. I wanted to catch one in the wild. So I was going... There was that whole, like, the big mountain where you go to the guy and he's got, like, the dancing Pokemon. Um, Salazzle Dazzle. And I, I hunted down a female Salazzle. And it was... Or female Salandit. And then Salazzle... Oh, what a fucking cool Pokemon. What a fucking cool Pokemon. I love her. Now, somebody was saying that Shiny Salandit rules. Or Shiny Salazzle. Dude, yeah, it does! Wow! Yo, that's cool as shit. That's cool. Oh, you can buy one for $8 at this cheating store. Eh. Anyway, Salazzle is cool. I love Salazzle. Salazzle is cool as fuck. Poison and fire. Great typing. Especially because it has corrosion. Like, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Stuffle. Uh, love Stuffle. Stuffle is such a baby. Like, such a pure, pure, wonderful baby. I love Stuffle. Um. It just, it's like, the first off, the fact that it's it's like a stuffed animal bear. That's why it's stuffle. Oh, oh, love. 
and then you get this guy. I don't know if it's necessarily cursed, but I do think it looks like it's wearing a headband, and I don't understand that part. Um, I would want to be its friend, but I also don't want to die from a hug, you know? Like, holy fuck. Also, I love uh, how, like, super protective Beware gets and just wants to, like, if you start fucking with, with it, it will just fuck you up. Bound Sweet! Okay, I actually, I used Bound Sweet in my game. I thought that it was so cute, and I just, I love having... So, when I play through a game, I usually, I'll do water type, grass type, fire type, um, electric type. And then the last two are variable. Usually a flying type of some form. Um, and that's why I love dual types, because it helps me get better coverage. Uh, but Bounce Weave was just, like, the cutest little bean. And then, what is this? Whose is this? Oh, what is this? Okay, cool, I guess. Um, oh yeah, we could probably be friends, that's cool. Um, yeah, Sarina! Oh, first off, Steeny, cute, 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 super cute. Does kind of look like she's got bananas attached to her head, but that's okay. Uh, and then, oh, Sarina was such a beast! She was, she does, oh my god. Like, I cleared so many gyms with just Serena. Love Sarina. Like, so cool. Even if it's got, like, a ton of weaknesses, it just, shit works. Shit fucking works. Look at that. Look at that attack stat. Look at that attack stat. So cool. Comfy. It's... Okay. It's cute. Like, it's got the cute eyes that I like. But it's just... It's... Eh. 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 It's okay. Wouldn't use one. Um, Orangaroo. I don't think I ever... <laughs> Comfy is your mask. Oh. Again, I don't think I ever saw... Orangaroo, it's fine. I guess it's a monkey. We know. Oh, it's not a monkey, it's an ape. Um, Passimian is a monkey. And again, eh. Eh. I don't really have much to say about these guys. Oh my gosh. Yes, as you should. Now, I love Wimpod. I love Wimpod an awful lot. I think it's cute. I think it's stupid. Um,. Comfy sit on head. Uh, because I just I loved the concept of just an isopod Pokemon. Really cool. Uh, and then Go Isopod is fucking beast. I love it. I would I would consider using it if I didn't already have like a different water type in my party. Like that's it's just such a cool styling, and we don't get a lot of like cool looking bugs we get a lot of like cute looking bugs and a lot of useless bugs but i feel like golisopod would be like a cool a really cool pokemon to use oh sandy gas it's i again i like the concept of sandy gas first off ghost and ground typing pretty cool and it's just it's, it's like a little sandcastle, like you're just starting to build it, and it's got a little fucking shovel sticking out of its head. It's cute! And then you go to Palisand, which is known as the beach. So, first off, I want to say that Alola is where all of the dex entries started to get really metal. Palisand is known as the beach nightmare. It pulls its prey down into the sand by controlling the sand itself, and then it sucks out its souls. <sighs> Love. Yeah, Sansel. Sandy guessed his fond of the shovel. Wait, did it actually say that? Oh, it is not in the shovel on its head. How did I miss that? It's so cute. You know what? I didn't realize initially that um, Palisan keeps the shovel. It loves. Whoa, really? Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. 
Wow! Okay, that's cool. That's a cool shiny. Why is this shiny black? Who cares? It looks cool. This is, this is, this is baller. I love that. Oh, look at shiny Sandy Gas too. Oh, that's cute. Oh, also look at that. That's cute. Ooh, I yawn. Sorry, next. Ah, I love, I love Puku Muku so much. I, this is the stupidest Pokemon. It is totally useless, but I love it. I, I love that whole game where you gotta pick them up and throw them back in the water. That cracked me up. Aww. I have a plush Pikachu nearby. I think. Hang on. Hang on. Let me find it. It's really close. Gotta be. Yeah, I thought I saw it. So, my friend Chloe, uh, not the Chloe who has done my emotes, but a friend that we know from, um, from vending. She does Pokemon loaves. And she made this adorable Pukumuku plush. And I, I, oh man, the first time I saw them, I'm like, shit, they're, so they're a little expensive. They're like 40 bucks. But she hand makes all of these and she does like the embroidery. And like, how, come on, how fucking cute is this little football of a beast? I just, I love this little like bean football. I love, I love to look You know what you say here? Ugh, rude. Pukumuku is my friend. So Pukumuku can like stay here. Also, like it can like barf out its inside and use it as a hand to beat people up, which is hilarious. All right. Oh, type null. Um, I feel bad for type null. I just, I feel bad for type null and all, like it's, it's just, it's, it shouldn't be like that, man. Like they hurt you. They hurt you so bad. That's not fair. And then Sylvali is, is even Like, it's just, it's such a, a unique Pokemon. I just, I feel bad for it's, like, yes. Like you, like you have to like get your trust up between type null in order for it to evolve. And that is really something special. Like I've just, this poor Pokemon, like, like we know who hurt it. Like when I say who hurt you, like we know. Um, oh, he loves null. But it's just, I just, I feel so bad for Type Null and Silvoy, Silvally, whatever. Minior! Oh, Hidden Villains stolen abuse Pokemon. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I love Minior. I think it's cute. I just, look at, look at the little friend! This little friend! Also, it's just a star. It's a star. Like, I love that. Places where Minior fall from the night sky are few and far between, with Alola being one of the precious few. I think I had a pink core. Or it might have even been a green core. I don't remember. I just, I loved it. I thought it was very cute. Kamala! Oh, I remember a lot of people being really, really into Kamala when it first came out. Um, but then it was like relatively, like it was a single type, um, non-evolving Pokemon. And it's just like, Wanted to like Turtonator more than I actually ended up being with Turtonator. Like, I love the concept of Turtonator. It's fucking weird. Um, but it, it, what is up with its nose? I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. That is fucking weird. No, thank you. Defensive hell, though. Um. Oh, Togu tomorrow. So Gen 7 was weird in the sense that it had Togedemaru, which was technically like the electric rat Pokemon. Uh, and Togedemaru's fine. I don't remember what its gimmick was. Um, because then you had Mimikyu. And Mimikyu is well-deserved 
in all of the love that it's get it gets. I love Mimikyu. I, I just want to be friends. Like, Hip Fire's a rag fashioned into a Pikachu costume in order to look less scary. Unfortunately, the costume only makes it creepier. Like, how could you not love Mimikyu? How cute and how sweet is Mimikyu? I too have a plushie of Mimikyu. Michael bought it for me for, I want to say Christmas one year? I think it was Christmas. I don't remember. It's just, I think it's up at my parents' house. I just, I have a lot of plushies. I have a lot of plushies. And I just, I so I remember back in the day, somebody had done like alternate versions of Mimikyu. Like if they tried to do other Pokemon as their rag costume. Oh, they were so cute. Ugh, Bruxish. Weird Pokemon with big lips and weird choice. I mean, I know it's like, it's based on a real animal. Like, hang on. Um. Yeah, the humu humu nuku nuku. Which, I mean, I get it. I still hate it. <laughs> I can still hate it. Ooh, let's close out of that. Um, Cause y'all don't need to see that. Um, oh, Trampa. Weirdest choice being a normal dragon. Like, so weird. I don't think I've ever seen a Drampa. Something knows that came. Ugh, yeah, it's it's supposed to start raining down here if it hasn't already. So, uh, damn, Drampa's like fucking almost ten feet. Damn. Yeah, why is Drampa not water? I don't know. Why is it nor like? First off, why is anything normal type? But oh, Delmize. Delmize is such a cool Pokemon. Especially because it technically gets like three typings. Because it's, it's Ghost and Grass, but then it's got Steel Worker, which gives the boost to Steel type moves. You get, So you basically, you get Stab from Steel type moves. So you get Stab from three different types here. So cool. Um, I just, I love the concept of, of it just being this like sunken ship Pokemon. Yes, you are 100% true with that. Like, Mimikyu is a sweet baby who never did anything wrong and deserves nothing but the best. Oh, Jangmo. Oh, okay. Um, I, again, I kind of, like, I remember that this line exists and I remember the name. Um, but I don't really know anything about its, like, fighting style or what it's, like, I never found one. So I never bought, oh, and Hakamo-O sucks. I don't like Hakamo-O, but again, suffers from the curse of being second stage evolution. Um, Komo-O is, oh, is this dragon and fighting? Really? I would have assumed that there would have been some kind of like steel typing in there. Bulletproof or sound. It's, it's a very underwhelming pseudo-legendary, in my opinion. So. Tapu Koko! You're all right! Like, I really, I don't really have much bad to say about the Tapus. Um. They're okay. I don't, I don't know if I would personally use one. Obviously, Tapu Lele is my girl. Um. She's just such a cutie. She's so cute. Like, look at her. Oh, she's so cute. She's in a, like a little. She reminds me. It looks like she's floating around in like the clown car that Bowser Jr. has, where it just goes like. Boop, 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 boop. It's got like a little like floating car thing. She's psychic fairy. Tapu Bulu. Tapu Bulu is. You know, I don't think I've ever actually looked at Tapu Bulu that much. Why is this grass type? I don't understand. I feel like this should be fighting type. Um, cause this is just like some buff motherfucker. It's got cloven hooves. Um, I don't know. And Tapu, I also really love Tapu Fini. Tapu Fini is so pretty. Like I, I love Tapu Lele, but I think Tapu Fini might be the best cause she's just so elegant. 
Like, so cool. So cool. Oh, Cosmog. Hey! I love Cosmog. Get in the fucking bag. Nebby, get in the bag. Um, I was very interested by the concept of Cosmog because it was marketed as, like, the first evolving legendary, which I thought was unique. Like, I was like, whoa, okay, I guess we're gonna actually do something with this gimmick now. Um, God, Nebby Get in the Bag is still fucking hilarious. Um, just Nebby Get in the Bag still fucking funny. Um, Cosmo, Cosmic Smogs, and there was a Nebula Nebby. <gasps> Cute! Cosmoem. I don't know what to say about Cosmoem. It's fine. It's okay. Um, Solgaleo. Solgaleo is pretty cool. Um, I I appreciate its its lionness. Um, psychic and steel type, really. Interesting. Um, I'd never played Sun, so I never had a Solgaleo. Um, Karen loves Solgaleo. Ow. Ow. Um, and then, see, I really love Lunala. I thought Lunala was gorgeous. Because it's Nebby. Nebby grow up. Become big man. Or become, you know... Big girl. Whichever. It could be always it could be friend. Always friend. I just I loved playing through and having Lunala show up and just be like, whoa. Okay, now we're getting into the zone of things that I don't identify. Uh Nihiligo. Ultra So we're in like the Ultra Beast zone, and I'm really not good at Ultra Beasts. Uh Nihiligo is okay, I guess. It's got like a weird jellyfish thing going on. Uh, and I know that it's, these are supposed to like mimic people, so. Oh, I hate Buzzwall. I really hate Buzzwall. Um, although it's alien to this world and a danger here, it's apparently a common organism in the world where it normally lives. Yeah, Nehalayo has Lily's hair and it's really creepy. Um, I don't, I don't like Buzzwall. Feromosa, I love the concept of. Uh, especially the fact that she's, like, bug and fighting type. That's really cool. Um, <laughs> I need to show you guys. This is what Boom sent me. <laughs> oh, it's true. Let me get in the bag. Oh. Yeah, I guess it's very Lusamine-like. Uh, especially because Zerkatry was supposed to be, uh... What's his name? From Team Skull. Basically. Yeah, Guzma, thank you. It's okay, I just... It's weird! It's really weird! Celesteela is... Really cool, actually. I would, I mean, first off, it's got the same typing as one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. Um, yeah, who's Buzzwool? I think it's only certain ones are supposed to look like, 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 Lusamine and Feromosa and Zerkatry and Guzma and Nihiligo and Lily. Uh, because Silasila isn't really supposed to be mimicking. I love the fact that it's like, Bamboo? It's really cool. Cartana? Whoa! What is that thing? I guess that this thing looks like just came straight out of fucking Paper Mario. Um. Grass and steel? Oh, what's not? Um. remember oh the yeah 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 the the um oh 
great, Guzzlord is one that exists. Is it grass type because paper? Maybe. Okay, why? Why is Guzzlord dragon type though? Like dark dragon, first off, that's a cool typing, dark and dragon, respect. Um, I don't think they've done dark dragon since, uh, uh, like high dragon. Um, cause Kingdom Hearts enemy isn't a type. Oh, you're not wrong. All right, Pokemon 800, we have less than a hundred to go. The Krasma is cool. Um, what is this? What? Is this something that happens in Ultra, in, in like Ultra Sun Ultra Moon with the Dusk Mane and the Dawn Wings? Ah, uh, okay. That's a cool, cause I never, first off, I don't think I ever found a Krasma in, in original Moon. Um, yeah, for sure. This is a cool fucking phase. And then Ultra Necrozma. Whoa! I've never seen that before. That's fucking baller. This is a cool Pokemon. Like Necrozma is genuinely way cool. Go figure. Oh, Magirna. Oh, Magirna. I love that Magirna is supposed to be like a clockwork version of Diancie. You could feel, okay, is that like, um, is that like how in like black two and white two and you could take the, the splitter for, um, Curem, basically? Synchronizes consciousness with others to understand their feelings. This faculty makes it useful for taking care of people. Aww. I love Magirna. Oh, great! Marshadow. This is weird. I feel like I should have some sort of, like, fire typing. It looks like it's it's more like a flame sort of thing. Yeah, like the old school Pokeball colored Magirna. That was cool as fuck. Um, Marshadow, sure. Okay, so now we're getting into, I guess these are the Ultra Beasts from Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Uh, yeah. The fuck you say? Naganadel? Naganadel. What is this thing? I don't like this at all. This little motherfucker, this little motherfucker turns into this motherfucker. I mean, it looks like beast, like ultra beast. Yeah, well, that's a really good phrase. It's whelmed. Stack attacker is, mm, that's just one of those motherfuckers from Breath of the Wild that I don't want to fight. A big old needle on its butt. It does. Yeah, Stack Attacka is just, it's, it's. This is when Pokemon starts selling like prescription medications. Yeah. Sure is a bunch of cubes with eyes. The cross was an AstraZeneca. Part. What? What is this thing? Blacephalon? What? Fire and ghost? I'm sorry, I, I fucking can't with this thing. This this might be the edge for me. This is terrible. I mean it looks like it looks fun. But I just how does it work? Where are its eyes? Are the weird, like, explosions its eyes? I don't like that. Next. Oh, Zero Aura. That's... I... It's... Placephalon is the worst. Uh, Zero Aura is cute, I guess. Zero Aura looks like, um... What is... What's, like, power? A Sentai. It looks like a Super Sentai. 
fast as fuck. Okay. Bolt absorb. Restores HP if hit by an electric type move instead of taking damage. Cool. Yeah, little furry guy. It's all right. It's fine. Um, don't think I do. Is this supposed to be like a, a mythical or a legendary? Oh, Meltan. So you take for your bipolar one. I like Meltan. I like Meltan an awful lot. Um, I remember when all the Meltan showed up in Pokemon Go and we were all just like, what is this? And I also really- wait, there's- Holy fuck, what? Okay, so I've never seen Gigantamax Melmetal, and I am bracing for this thing. Whoa! Okay. You know what Gigantamax Melmetal reminds me of? It reminds me of, like, a Starman from, um, Earthbound. This reminds- is this straight out of Earthbound? That's cool. I love it. In a distant land, there are legends about a Cyclopean giant. In fact, the giant was a Melmetal that was flooded with Gigantamax energy. This is cool. But I love Melmetal, so I'm I'm biased. All right. All right. Now we're on to the starters for Gen 8. Ugh, monkey. Ugh, Grookey's fine, I guess. I hate Thwacky. What the fuck is this thing? This is terrible. This is bad. I don't like it. Rillaboom, however, is really cool. I like Rillaboom an awful lot. This is just well done. I like the fact that it's got like the long hair in the back. I like the little like the leaf coming down in the front. I like that a lot. Gigantamax Rillaboom. Oh, hell yeah! Fucker gets a whole freaking drum set. That's so cool. That's so cool. 91 feet tall? This is awesome. I really like this one. Um, score bunny, sweet baby. Yeah, Brillaboom just wants to play bums, drums and vibe out. Like, play bums and drive out. <laughs> I love score bunny. Score bunny is the best. Um, it's just, it's so cute. I love the little, like the band-aid in the middle of its eyes. Like, oh, I am currently stuck with a rabbit. We form a band with that weird electric poison one. Yeah, see? Um. Okay, yeah, we still got time. Um. On the music. Raboot's fine. I, I actually like Raboot as a second stage. Score Bunny is delightful. I love Score Bunny so much. Like, this line just makes me happy. And Cinderace is cool. Like, I love, like, Cinderace... I just want to be on, like, the the U.S. women's soccer team. Like, you go, girl. What? What? Wow! It gets a whole fucking fireball! Gigantic pyro ball never misses its targets and completely roasts opponents. Would not want to fuck around with that. No, sir. The only- Okay, here's the only thing I don't like about Cinderace. Pure fire type. That's it. That's it. Like, if it had a dual typing, I would love it so much more because I just love dual type Pokemon. Um, oh, poor baby Sobble. Its tears pack the chemical punch of a thousand onions. Okay. Oh, Dr I'm sorry, Drizzile is the one that I'm thinking of that was supposed to be a spy. Not, um, not, uh, what's its butt before the lizard with a, the frog with a big tongue. Um. Drizzile is a real disappointment for a second stage evolution. That's awful. Yeah, like, Cinderace, I feel, would have been would have been good for a firefighting. Like, I wouldn't have even been that mad. Sobble is cute, then it evolves into an emo kid. Inteleon is kinda cool. Like, I don't inherently dislike it. But yeah, Inteleon is a guy with a gun. Alright, alright, let's see. Let's see Gigantamax Inteleon. He's a fucking sniper?! He's a fucking sniper! 
Okay, that's sick. Um, that's pretty cool, actually. Squab it. Oh, I forgot about this thing. Squab with little chubbly cheeks. How does it not have pickup? How does this thing not have pickup? Oh, Credence. This is so, now, now we're in like gen eight and a lot of these are ones that I'm not super familiar with. Like I know I've said that a couple times, but I really need to emphasize how many of these I have just straight up forgotten existed. Um, Credence really cute. Look at that, aw. Oh, they jump out of trees? Oh, ew. Really? Excuse me. Rickety! It's fine. It's okay. It's cute. It's just a little borb. Corvus Squire is way cool. I like Corvus Squire an awful lot. I think this is a good second stage Pokemon, especially a second stage bird. Uh, and then you get Corviknight. Which is cool. Flying is, you know, I would have expected it to be like Dark Steel, honestly. Um, Gigantamax Corviknight. Whoa, that's cool. Oh, it's got pressure. I love, I love pressure as a fucking ability. That's a good name for a Corviknight. Also, I love just like, yeah, they're named it. That's so cool. Forgot about this one. Blipbug. Blipbug looks like a worse one of, of, of like Spupa. It just, it just, don't like it. See, that's cool. That's like a great double meaning. Okay. Dotler's fine, I guess. Oh, this thing. Uh. Eh. Oh no, what is this? All right, that's a fucking UFO. That's pretty cool. Gigantamax Orbeetle, cool. Regular Orbeetle, sucks. Orbeetle looks like a Transformer. There, that's that's what I think it is. I think Orbeetle looks like a Transformer. Okay, I definitely have a Nicket. I like Nicket. Um but I like, uh, I like foxes and I like the fact that it's a, I, for some reason, this one that it's, it's like a pure dark type doesn't bother me. Go figure. Uh, and also Thievel, I just, I love it. I feel like this is, this is a really solid design for a fucking fox type Pokemon. And I love that it's got like, it's got real like loop in the third energy. And that's what I like about it. Let's see. Gossifleur. Oh, right. This little girl. Oh, she's so cute. Thievel, you know what would be fun? You know what would be fun about Thievel? If, if we could, like, bring it to the hairdresser like you could do with a uh, Furfru. That would be fun. Um, Gossifleur, cute. Kitsune Miku. Like, okay, I love Gossifleur, but I think that evolving into Eldegoss is definitely a uh, downgrade, a bit of a downgrade. Um, not as into Eldegoss. Wulu, you can't, you can't not love Wulu. Wulu is precious. Wulu is adorable. Wulu must be protected at all costs. Look at that sweet ball of fluff. Oh, and it can have Runaway. I love Runaway. Under Gossifleur. Yeah, basically. So I saw Dub Wolf for the first time literally like two days ago. Um, Dub Wolf's pretty cool. I like that. I like that Wulu evolves into Dub Wolf. Again, normal is. Eh, eh. Oh, right. Choodle. I don't. I don't like it's. That it's. It's got like one weird tooth there. Trudel's not great, but Dreadnought is pretty fucking sweet. <gasps> Wait, is there Gigantamax Dre- Whoa! Oh, definitely use Wulu as pillow. Wulu as friend. This is cool. 
I have been pretty impressed with a lot of the Gigantamax forms we've seen. There's some really cool ones. Oh, Yamper! Yamper is such a cute little pup. I have a Yamper in the, the game that I'm playing right now. Uh, but again, it's... <laughs> I think that's my problem with a lot of the Galar Pokemon, is a lot of them are just single types. There's no... There's no, like... Type divergency. Oh, Roly Coley! I remember Roly Coley now. Roly Coley's a weird design? Oh, yes! No, absolutely, Nage. Aww. So cute. And I mean, I, I, you know what? I like Roly Coley. I like Roly Coley. It's, it's a weird choice, but it's like a unicycle. And then you get Carcoal, which I don't like as much. Uh, but then you get Colossal, which is really cool. I don't think I've gotten to a Colossal in mine. I think I still have a Carcoal. Um, ooh, we got a Gigantamax. All right, yeah, that's fucking cool. That's fucking cool as hell. Hell yeah. And it gets a dual typing. Hooray! Oh, right, Applin. Is this one that's like a diver yeah, it's got like diversion evolution somehow? We can either get like Flapple or Appleton. Um I don't I don't know how I feel about this thing. Big McLarge huge. Flapple is pretty cool. I kinda like this one. It ate a sour apple and that induced its evolution as cheat stores an acid capable of causing chemical burns. But yet it doesn't have any like Poison typing. Gigantamax. Whoa! It's like a snake and a fucking apple. That's pretty cool. All right, Appleton. Oh, that's cute. Okay. That's cute. I like that. Let's see Gigantic. Okay, it's the same Gigantamax form. Interesting. Okay. Oh, Silicobra feels so sad. Like, I don't... Yeah, Gigantamax is the same for both, but it's so cute. I don't... I don't know how I feel about Silicobra. Like, I like Snake Pokemon. But I feel like they've already got a better Cobra Pokemon with Arbok. What is this thing? I hate this. This is so stupid. What the fuck is this? Oh, this can't be any better. Maybe? Maybe that's okay? I don't like this. I don't like this at all. And I can't tell if it's even good to use. I mean, it looks like it's got, like, good defense, but it doesn't look, like, particularly useful. Cramorant is hilarious. Cramorant is just genuinely hilarious. It, like, swallows a fucking fish and then it just, like, barfs it out to take people out. That's hilarious. Arrokuda? I have never seen this Pokemon before in my life. It's a fish. I mean, yeah, that's certainly a fish. <laughs> if it sees any movement around it, this Pokemon charges for it straight away, leading with its sharply pointed jaw. It's very proud of that jaw. No plus spoilers for release your- I feel like I'm spoiling myself. Okay, again, I've I've never seen this. Um, looks like it'd probably be a pretty fun Kremlin barfed a Pikachu at me and I was traumatized. <gasps> no! That's horrifying! I um Barascuda! Barracuda and Barascuda. I've never heard of these Pokemon before in my life. Ooh, Barascuda! <laughs> it's fine! It's fine. It's okay. It's It looks like a pretty good water type. What is this thing? This thing is... I mean, I've, I've heard of Toxel. It's, it's just... This looks... Like, it needs a diaper. This looks like fucking diaper fur shit. No thank you. Oh, right, and then there's Toxtricity. I know Michael had a Toxtricity in his game. Um. Alright, so we got low-key form, amped form, 
and then Gigantamax form. This poke, this does not look like the same thing as these at all. Like what the fuck? I mean, I guess it does. I guess it does. It just, but it like, it like goes quad and has like a fucking telephone pole on its ass. That's a weird choice. That's a weird choice. It's okay though, I guess. I guess it's okay. Toxel is angry fall on his butt. It's toddler size. Oh, okay. This thing looks like bacon. Sislipede is just bacon. It's bacon. Sunday Scorch is big bacon. Oh, I think I've seen this. Like, this is cool. But it is just big bacon. <sighs> what is this thing? Clobopus? I've never seen this before. Oh my god. I feel first off, I feel like I am like losing out on so much right now because I'm missing so much knowledge of like Gen 8 Pokemon. Um this is so fucking funny. Clobopus? <gasps> Hilarious. That is such a funny fucking name. I love it. Grapplocked. What? Oh my god, this is so ridiculous. I love it. It's so stupid. I don't want to fuck around with this thing. This thing is going to throw me in a locker and it's going to hurt an awful lot. That's cool as shit. I would possibly, I would possibly use a Grapplocked. Oh my god, I just saw the Pikachu being eaten by a fucking Cramorant. Fuck that, no! He will also follow you in the water? Oh, man. Okay, Sinistee I am familiar with. Sinistee is cute as hell. I think this is such a cute, a cute, cute, cute idea for a Pokemon. Just like a possessed teacup. Love it. And then pull tea guys. Look at this guy. Look at how cute. Look at the look. First off, it's got a smile. I love smiles. If you're a smiley Pokemon, I'm gonna love you. Um, love this. Love this. And yeah, this, so I read this somewhere that there is like most of the teapots in that pull tea guys possess are fakes. And occasionally you can get like a, a, a real pull tea guys. Like, hang on. They have a little market list. That's so cute. That's so cute. That's clever. That's a really clever little detail. Got the teacup and teapot. Looks so oh! Oh my god, that's adorable. All right. I love Hatena. I love this line. Des, yay! I love the Hatena line. I think it's so cute. I think it's very fun. Um, I just, I think they're so sweet. Like, look at it. It's like, like a little hat. And then also I think Hatram is adorable. I think she's so pretty, so cute. This is actually a really good second stage evolution. Like, I appreciate it. And then Hatrine, I just, I love Hatrine. But I have like a, a bias. Because I just, I think she's like so cool. And she's got a fucking hand. I love it. Yeah. Oh, wait, is she getting Gigantamax? Oh, hell to the yes. That's so cool. So cool. Oh, Ipidem. I've, I've heard of this one. I've... Ooh. That's fine. I get dark fairy typing. Interesting combo. Interesting combination. <laughs> Through its nose, it sucks in the emanations produced by people in Pokemon when they feel annoyed. It thrives off this negative energy. Fairy is, I think, fairy and ghost might be my favorites maybe fairy psychic i don't know i like okay this guy this is just an emo kid like i am pretty sure no no you know what this is this is just fucking it's robbie from um gravity falls that's what that is that's just fucking robbie from gravity falls i don't like it that's fucked up that's it's just a hairy boy i fucking hate this shit Gigantamax Grimstar. I'm afraid of this. I, I would, I do not, I do not like this. I do not like this one bit. No, thank you. 
no. Okay, this bad boy. I love, I love Obstagoon. <laughs> I'm afraid of this. Oh, yeah, Des. Yeah. Um, this is the most genuine reaction I've ever seen at least half about something. <laughs> Alright, I need to, everybody needs to see shiny um Obstagoon. Because it's amazing. First off, it's like it's pink and blue. And it reminds me of It reminds me of this. It's like the Bay Area Death Fest list, and then you just got fucking party cannon. Obstagoon, shiny Obstagoon is party cannon. I love it so much. Shiny Obstacoon is party cannon. I love it. <laughs> like, you've got all these, like, terrible fucking, like, death metal bands that nobody can understand what their names are, and you've got fucking party cannon. I love it. Oh. It's so good. Party cannon. So delightful. I love party cannon. All right. Berserker. Oh right, this is this is the one that like the Meowth evolves into. Or something. It's okay. I like the concept of it being like a little Viking void. Like that's pretty chill. Like a Viking Pokemon, hell yeah. <sighs> Cursula makes me sad. I get very sad when I think about Cursula and 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 uh, Cursula and and Alolan uh, Corsula. Like that's just ugh. Surfetched. Surfetched is ridiculous. I first off, I love the fact that Farfetch gets an evolution in this gen. Uh, Cursula Kurs just wrecks me. The concept of Cursula just fucking gets me right in the goddamn heart. Like, seriously. Um, but the fact that the fact that Farfetch finally gets a goddamn evolution, I love it. It makes me very happy. Um, and Surfetch is so stupid. It's so funny. I hate this, but I love it at the same time. What is Mr. What is his pants or a fucking face? Oh my god. Does it talk? Or is it like still a mime? Why is he called Mr. Rhyme? Is he like a does he does he like actually rhyme? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, Runa Regis is cool. I love Runa Regis. What an incredible design. Rhyme as an ice? I I don't get that connection, honestly. I'm afraid I don't get that connection. Um But yeah, Runa Regis, I love the design of Runa Regis. I love that it just like it it becomes this like tapestry come to life or, or like mural come to life. So cool. Oh, I love it. Oh, Milsery. Milsery is just, it's, it's just like bloop. It's just a bloop. I really appreciate this just little bloop of a Pokemon. Oh God, there are so, oh, they only have, they're only showing like the one form of Alchemy. First off, Alchemy, extremely cute. Um, there's about a gajillion Alchemy forms. So I'm going to look some of them up. Like, there's literally, there's tons of them. Come on, buddy. Oh, eh, that's not working. Yeah. There's just, there's dozens. There's absolutely dozens of these things. There's 70 different forms. And I thought that fucking, yeah. I, th I thought that um, Vivalon was bad, 
Alchemy is another fucking story. But they're so cute. They're just, they're so cute. Um, and let's check in. Yeah, Gigantamax Alchemy is just a pig coat of tiny white. Huh, I'm not familiar with that concept. That's interesting. Makes sense. Huh, I learned a thing today. Thank you. Also, G Gigantamax Alchemy as a fucking cake is amazing. How, st like, it's so ridiculous. It's so over the top. It's so pretty. I love it. 98 foot tall fucking cake. Amazing. Phalanx? Oh, these guys. These little guys. They're little guys. These guys remind me of, um, what's that Mario enemy that you jump on? Um, Wiggler. It reminds me of a Wiggler. Pin Kirchen? What's this? What's this? It's not, evol not evolving? This is cute. I wouldn't use it for anything, but it's cute. Oh, I like that. Oh, and here comes the boy. Aw, oh, the boy. Look at Snom. I love Snom. Snom is so fucking cute. But Ice Bug, that's got like, oh god, you get like one single fucking fire type in there and you're like roasted. But no. Frost Moth is beautiful. Again, you get a single fire type anywhere near this and you're fucked. But that's so pretty. Okay, Stone Journer cracks me up because of its stupid little face. I love, I love its stupid little face. It makes me very happy. Uh, if you got yourself a stupid little face, I probably love you. Ice Q is weird. I just, I mean, it's, I get it. It's a, yes, yeah, Nom looks like it would be just a gummy. It's like a gummy bear. <gasps> oh my God, Des, you're right. Sondra does have Scout's face. Oh, Ice Q is all right. Ice Q is like wicked defense. What's an Ndidi? What's this thing? Male select his valleys for those they serve, looking after their every need. Oh! Yay! I'm so glad that game was so fun. I loved that. That was so cool. Um, these are really cute. I don't know what they are, but they're really cute. Psychic and normal? What a weird typing. Do they have any use to them at all? Like, are they competitively viable? Look at that. Oh, she's so cute. This is a fucking friend. Look at these. These are these fucking friends. I like them an awful lot. These guys are good. Thank you. Oh, more Pico. Oh, little guy. Dude, Des, you should. It's so good. Butler Maple. They're so cute. And then this motherfucker. This motherfucker just reminds me of fucking Murder Bear. Um, like that game that I couldn't finish playing because it scared the shit out of me. And it doesn't have a Q -fent? Okay, first off, the fact Q -fent that's so cool. That's a great name, because CU is the elemental symbol for copper. Uh, and this is a copper, copper derm. That's so cool. What a cool Pokemon. And it's steel type? That's cool. Whoa! Copper Raja? Whoa. It's like, whoa, what is this? Whoa! This thing is cool as fuck! This is really cool. I like this Pokemon. And it looks like- Okay, first off, for starters, I would absolutely use the hell out of it. It's- Oh, it's Mr. Guy's signature Pokemon? Oh. Mr. Pokemon did a good job designing these. Like, A+. plus. Good job, Mr. Pokemon. Dracozolt. 
Oh, is this one of those fossil Pokemon that they fucked up? I'm s okay, so you know what makes me mad about these? Like... Like, they should just find... Like, if there's literally four separate ones, why can't you just put the ones that are supposed to be together together? Like, it makes me really sad. Like, this... This should go with this. Oh, man. Yeah. No, it's exactly how... Like, that's... That's how they work. That's why the iguan They thought the Iguanodon had, like, a fucking horn on its nose. Whoa. This is cool. Duraludon? Duraludon? Dura Duraludon? Steel Dragon. This is cool. You would think. Whoa! Whoa, okay, that is this just this just reminds me of um One World Trade. Kids Max Duraludon is literally just one world trade. That's that's it. That's it's a fucking building. That is cool as shit. I like this. Alright. All drapey. Dragon ghost? Ooh, fancy. I've seen these before and I think they're really cute. Now is this the pseudo legendary? Dreepy Dracula Dracloak and uh Dragapult? I like that it's just like riding on the top there. It's like, hi, I'm a friend. Hi, I'm a friend. Entire PC box of Dreepies. <laughs> this is cool. This is, I like Dragapult. I think Dragapult is cool as fuck. All right, Zacian. Hero of many battles, crown sword. Oh, this is Sword Pupper! Dude, that's cool! That's a good dog! Yes, it shoots Dreepies at you. Um, this is a cool Pokemon. This is a cool po- I like this. This is a really good look. And I love Sword Dog. Like, the fact that it's literally got a fucking sword in its goddamn mouth. Amazing. Um. His name is Santa's pretty cool, too. I like Zamacenta. I saw it because of sword. Yeah, same. Again, this is a crown shield. That's a cool fucking. That's yeah, I like that. What is this? Eternatus? Whoa! This is fucking sick. It's a poison dragon. This is just. What is this? Corn just absorbs energy and maybe the gas. Whoa! What? This is beast. This okay. First off, it's like its stomach there looks like the rainbow bridge triangle thing in uh Disney in uh, Journey to Imagination. Yeah, I never finished Sword, so I'm I'm missing out on. Okay, I know about Kung Fu though. Kung Fu is cute. Kung Fu is cute. Um, Urshifu. It's okay. Oh, there's a couple. Rapid strike side. All right, okay. Dude. Okay, those are cool. I like that. Is is uh, Kung Fu and Urshifu? Are those technically uh legendary or um yeah legendaries? Zarud Sandstorm. Um. Eh. It's a monkey. You can only say so much about monkeys. Fucking hate monkeys. I'm stoked about Pokemon Snap. Um, Michael pre-ordered it, so I think he's probably gonna play it first, and then maybe, maybe I will stream it until like, okay. Here's what I'm thinking. I'll probably end up doing. I will probably end up finishing uh, Paper Mario, and then while we wait for um. What the fuck is it called? While we wait for Metopia to show up, maybe we'll do some new Pokemon Snap. All right, so these are the new Reggies, right? I love them. I think they're so cool. Like Reggie Lecky, um, it's just like a fucking weird, weird fucking 
light bulb. I love it. Uh, Regent Drago is weird as hell. I love it. Although, look at that. Look at that. It's, it's, well, I mean, they're all tanks. They're all just like... For some reason, I thought there were three. Not just two. What if Glastria? This is cool. Could you do like an entire horse like party if you wanted to now with this thing? Wow! This is beautiful. This is one of the most beautiful Pokemon I have ever seen in my entire life. It truly is Dorse. This is fucking Dorse. I love it. This is magical. Oh my God. This, it's like floating. It is floating over its hooves. Oh my God. I love it. Damn. I love this thing. I fucking love this thing. I want 12 of this thing. I hate this thing. Fucking Calyrex looks like it's just bad. Ice Rider Calyrex? Are you fucking kidding me? It rides the fucking horse? You do not deserve that beautiful horse, you fucking weird puffball, giant, like, weird animal thing. You do not deserve this beautiful animal! Yeah. But you know what? That's it. This is the last Pokemon. We did it! Over the past three- Aw, oh, damn! Thank you, Raiders, coming in from Jelly's stream! Um... Over the last three streams, we have reviewed every single Pokemon. We have gone through all 898 Pokemon, which, wow, that the story of Crown Tundra will make you love Big Head. All right, you know, I will, I will get there. I don't own the expansion passes yet, um, but I'll get there eventually. I'll get there eventually. I promise. Um, I can't believe we did this. I can't, I, first off, I can't believe that there are that damn many Pokemon. Um, I'm mad that there are that many that I'd never seen before. Like, I feel, I feel like we're still due two more. Like, we're gonna get even 900 at some point. Like, it's gotta happen. It's gotta fucking happen. Um, Doris has beautiful eyelashes. It does. My god, what a majestic, you know what? I'm gonna look, go back to Spectre here because this is just such a fucking beautiful Pokemon. Look at this. This is amazing. I want 12. Give me 12 of these. But thank you guys so much for... I'm gonna, I'm gonna full screen, actually. I'm gonna full screen. Thank you so much for this adventure. This was weird. It's not something I usually do in this capacity, but I feel like it was super great and super useful for me to understand and like gave me a better working knowledge of those Galar Pokemon that I'd never seen before. Um, it made me happy and I'm happy for that. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm actually really surprised we didn't get more mythicals. And I feel like we might still. Let me see if there is anybody live right now. Really? No? Nobody live right now? Okay. Um, okay, that's cool. Um, bum, 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 bum. let's see. Uh, so yeah, next week, the, my plan tentatively is that next week we will be going back to Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. We're about, I want to say we're about halfway through that. I'm going to try to push through a little bit further, um, just so we can get moving along with that before the next couple games come out that I want to play. Uh, because literally as soon as I get it in my hot little hands, I am going to start streaming Metopia. Uh, that comes out in about a month. I want to say, uh, let me check. Let me check exactly. Utopia Switch. It is releasing less than a month. May 21st, it will be releasing. So I want to see, I want to try to blaze through as much of Paper Mario as I can. Uh, finish that up. Cause I don't want to leave that hanging because basically as soon as I, as I get that, we're starting it. Uh, cause I'm so excited for it. I'm so, so, so excited for that game. I love it so much and I want everybody here to love it. Um, 
But I feel like this was like a good little detour so we weren't gonna get burnt out on Paper Mario. Um, yeah, so everybody, thank you guys so much. Uh, Jelly, thank you again for the, for the host. I appreciate that. I hope you guys had a great night. I know you're playing some Breath of the Wild. So if you have, if, if you collective, collective friends here, if you are not already following Jelly and have any interest in Breath of the Wild, um, and also art because she streams art, please go follow her on Twitch. She's amazing and deserves all the love we can give tonight. Uh, even though she's in here right now because her stream is over. But you know what I mean. You know what I mean. <sighs> I am finally starting to fade a bit from being so rushed around all day. So everybody, thank you again for like the 40th fucking time. Um, take care, be well, and I will see you all on Tuesday when we return to Paper Mario. Later. Hey, where's my off button? I forgot where the off button is! <laughs>